OMG, Christine and David have been spotted out and about. I have got to be kind of quiet today because there's tornado warnings and tornado watches. Schools are out, so I got the kids sleeping in the other room. You know, she's got to sleep in. Look, she was all excited. I told her last night because we heard school was going to be closed today. And she was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Can I sleep in? <laughs> I said, yeah. And then when you get up, do not be loud, girl, because mama still got to work. Okay? Mama's work did not close. But anyway, y'all, before we get into it. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I don't know how you got here, but I am so glad you're here. I hope you stick around and smash that subscribe button before the end of this video. And also click the little bell beside subscribe to all. That way you'll be notified whenever YouTube sends out notifications. Please like and share this video. Also comment your thoughts and opinions. I love hearing and reading what all of you have to say about all of these topics, so don't forget to drop a comment below. And y'all, I'm just going to tell y'all something right now. Somebody sent me a message earlier and said, uh, Christine and David watched your video and we were all laughing. I said, shut up. Shut up. You shut up right now. Shut up. My birthday is next week, and I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all something. So far, child, it's been the best birthday ever, and it ain't even my birthday yet, thanks to Christine and David. Now, look, this was exclusive photos that was snapped outside a restaurant on Valentine's Day. Now, apparently, David, who lives 30 minutes away from Christine in Utah, Drove to Christine's. Now, we all seen her car confessions video where she introduced David to everybody. And we were all giddy. Christine was giddy. David was giddy. Child, we're all giddy, okay? Do you get it? We're giddy. Okay, so anyway. So, David drove to her house on um, Valentine's. And they, I guess, got together or got ready together. And they had reservations at this place, I guess, around Utah, around town, child. They had to get reservations. And apparently, it was like a hundred-something dollars a plate. Okay, bougie food. <laughs> Kudos to you, David. Kudos to y'all out there spending that money. But anyway, so apparently, they was holding hands. David is such a gentleman. He was opening the door for her. Um, placing his hand on her lower back. Yes, child. Look at Christine. You better come through, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You better come on through with that red dress. Child, Christine is looking good. Okay, this right here, this couple, I'm here for this couple, if y'all can't already tell. Look at them two. But anyway, she deserves this because we have seen her just be treated like crap. But anyway, we're not going to go down that road, okay? Because we are happy for Christine and we're happy for David. Now, apparently, they're both just giddy and in love. They spent like uh, two and a half hours in the restaurant eating, just, you know, chit-chatting, having a good time, being all romantical with each other. They both deserve it. Look at Christine. Yes, girl. Yes, leather and red dress. You better come on through, Mama. Looking good. Look at David proud. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna disrespect Christine no more. That's all I'm saying. You get it, David. You get it. Okay, family friendly. But y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and say something right now, okay? This is such a wonderful story to follow and share. Because this right here, I couldn't think of somebody more deserving. You know what I'm saying? These two right here, look, and the sources are saying that these two are like little kids in, you know, not little kids, but, you know, like your first love. You get what I'm saying? Like kids and, you know, just giddy and all excited and lovey-dovey and oh, I'm here for it, okay? I can relate. Relatable. Relatable. But look, this was the inside of the restaurant where they ate at. Apparently, you had to have reservations. 
So nice. So nice. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Me and Johnny's went to one place that you had to have reservations. And, child, we didn't know you had to have reservations. And we walked in there. And the lady, this was just, like, over New Year's when we went to the Ozarks. The lady said, do y'all have reservations? Or what time is your reservation? Or what's your name? Or whatever. She said something to that fact. And uh, I was like, well, we didn't have reservations. She's like, oh, um... <laughs> Y'all, seriously, she started looking around. She's like, um, well, I can sit y'all at the bar. And look, me and Donnie are not drinkers. So, I mean, to each their own, you know, nothing against it, whatever. But uh, I looked at him. I was like, mm, I don't think so. Because, you know, like I said, we had never been nowhere that nice where you had to have reservations. So, and we didn't know you had to have them. So, anyway, I'm thinking the bar is going to be a child. They're going to be throwing down up at the bar. Well, I was like, uh, and then she points to the bar, and I seen, like, an old couple sitting there drinking some wine. Like, you could tell it was all bougie and stuff. I said, okay, we can sit there. <laughs> Child, we sat there, and I never, that was the nicest restaurant we have ever been to in our lives. So, I just had to throw that in there. When they was talking about some reservations only, I said, ooh, nice, nice. I'm here for it, and I'm here for these two. Child, let me tell you something. If we don't get these freaking episodes of Christine's spinoff show before the fall, I'm going to lose my stuff. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to literally be over. <laughs> y'all know I will. I'm just telling y'all. I'm giving y'all a warning. If we got to wait until the fall, I will be putting together a whole reality show of Christine and Dave. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> Apparently, this is what we're doing now. I want to see it. TLC, can you get on the ball? Okay, I got to be quiet. I got to be quiet. My little girl's going to be in there like, I'm trying to sleep. I'll be like, sorry. We might have to do ASMR for the next video. <laughs> hey, thank y'all for watching. Look, I told her, speaking of ASMR, I was doing that the other day, and I said something about ASMR. I said, ASMR. She said, why are you yelling? I said, I'm not yelling. She said, you are not whispering. You're yelling. I was like, I didn't know this was yelling. She said, you got to whisper like this. I said, oh, child, I can't be like that. Now, I'm not no ASMR child, but we'll, we might have to do this on the next video. I mean, the tornadoes is coming, okay? I'm sorry you pray for us over here. We always experience some type of freaking tornado warnings, wind, advisory, freeze warning. I'm like, Jesus, I know you see us over here. Put your hands over us, please protect us, Jesus. But I'm going to tell you something. Jesus is showing us all what real love is right now. Jesus is showing us Christine and David, and I'm here for it. But I want y'all to thumbs up, share this video. Okay, share the good news, share the love, share all the good feelings. And if you don't, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> seriously, we are so quick to share the bad news. Have y'all ever noticed that? Like, I get it that we need to be, you know, in the know about everything that's going on. But can we just, you know, sprinkle more good news stories in? I mean, I'm going to try to do that. I really am. And this right here <laughs> tops my list. I'm going to tell you. By the way, y'all remember I said next week was my birthday, 2 February 22nd. That is my birthday. Yes, I know. I'm excited. And it's already been a fabulous birthday so far. And it ain't in here yet. Child, whenever I got that message saying Christine watched your video, I... <laughs> I can't tell you how happy that made me. I love some Christine. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Love me some Christine. And I honestly feel like if I ever met Christine, I wouldn't be all fangirling. I honestly believe, I don't know why I get this feeling and I get this vibe. I'm putting it out there. I'm manifesting. I'm putting it out there in the universe. If you want something bad enough, put it out there in the universe, okay? So I'm putting it out there. When I meet Christine, I already know I'm not going to fangirl like, oh my God, oh my God, Christine, I want a picture with you. You know what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to be like, girl, girl. <laughs> and then we're just going to get along and kiki like we've been friends forever. You get what I'm saying? I just get that vibe. Like, we've already been besties in my head for years. You know? So, I mean... <laughs> But y'all, for real, just share your love, share your good, your good vibes, share your good feelings in the comments below. Thumbs up and share this video. And by the way, I'm going to have to put something special together, a special video for my birthday next week. Because me and my mama is going to go eat, so I'm not going to be able to record, so I'm going to pre-record. So if you got any suggestions or recommendations on a video, a birthday video, something that you really, really want to hear about and see and watch and all the things, then let me know in the comments below. By the way, I got a juicy video coming up about Miss Robin Brown and her... um upbringing child that's some hot tea okay and we gonna spill it we're gonna talk all about it so be sure you stay tuned for that video smash that subscribe button click that bell beside subscribe to all that way you'll be notified whenever youtube sends out notifications hey i love you for watching i'll see y'all in my next video